In this video, we're going to be learning about mounting on a penitent articulator. First of all, we need an intraoral scan with the coise plate in place. It looks something like this. Import that into your blender file. We also need an intraoral scan of the upper and lower in the occlusion that you have set in the patient's mouth. From here on, make sure that these two are joined up into one STL model. Next, make sure that you have the penitent mounting installed on your computer in the Assets PC or Mac library. We're going to select the, the articulator and append it into the scene. Please note that this articulator is a visual representation only. It is a non-functional piece. Then select the chord plate and append this into the scene. These have all been aligned correctly in the Blender workspace. To make things simpler, open up the Outliner window. Then toggle the articulator to hide it. Go to the alignment module. This becomes the moving and that becomes a destination. I'm going to be using the paint on method. Hello, you're moving. And always make sure that you color mesh structure which is similar. So here I want to make sure that the stop, it stops over here and maybe a little bit on the side and a little bit on that side. Color my destination and we're going to do something similar. Apply that, move the moving towards your destination. And then select both and perform ICP. Then confirm. We have a good alignment. Next we want to do the same thing using the models which are linked. This becomes my moving and this scan becomes my destination and we're going to cut the moving. Now we want to get a similar pattern. Using the C key I'm going to stroke across like this. Apply, color your destination. Apply that. Then grab your moving target model and place it into the same vicinity, something like that. Select both of them and perform ICP. Then confirm. We can now hide the coise plate. And we can hide the previous scan. And now we're going to make models. Go to your model designer. Separate the two. And now you may have to arch cut to make a model. If the periphery borders look OK, simply extrude them into a base. And the lower one as well. Next, we're going to need cutting tools to cut these models correctly. 
this is easily done, go back to your components module and select the cutters. These are going to be used to cut the models. I'm going to open up the properties and we, with the model being selected, go to add modifier, select the, the boolean, click on fast, take the dropper and drop it onto your cube and apply that. Do the same with the other side. Click on fast, take the dropper, drop it. You can see how it has been cut. Let us then exit delete these. Here we can see that we've had a boolean failure. This is probably due to the fact that the model is not nicely done. This is good that this has happened so that we can demonstrate what to do in that situation. Simply go back and instead of fast, click on the exact, take your dropper and cut it, then apply. Take these, X and delete. We now have two models. Finally, choose your mounting plates. These can be perforated or non-perforated. I'm going to be selecting the non-perforated. That's one, and then we're going to grab the upper as well. Everything has been trimmed and cut correctly. Select the two of them and export these as STL. Name them. Selection only. And do the same with the lower. Make sure you do click the selection only button. Then send these to your printer. To re-examine, we're going to bring in the articulator. And this is what it then looks like.